March is here, and along with all the action, DraftKings Sportsbook is hooking their customers up with a can't-miss offer. New customers will get 40 to 1 odds on any college basketball game. Bet just $5 on any game, and if your pick hits, you'll get $200 in free bets. DraftKings Sportsbook has nearly endless ways to get in on the action, from same-game parlays to future betting. Feel the sweat with DraftKings now. Don't worry if you've already taken advantage of this offer. There are still plenty of ways you can get in on college hoop action with DraftKings Daily Fantasy. DraftKings offers nearly endless opportunities to reign with their Daily Fantasy contests, which have millions of dollars up for grabs every week. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code SMOKE, throw down just $5 on any college basketball game of your choice, and get $200 in free bets if the team you choose wins. That's code SMOKE at DraftKings Sportsbook. Finally, my question. (laughs) Explain crypto and the boom of crypto. The word cryptocurrency, the currency part's a little misleading, I think. And that's what throws people off. Because it's not really currency as we know it. Because currency is like, all right, I have a dollar. I'm going to give you a dollar. Tomorrow it's still going to be worth a dollar, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Bitcoin is more of a store of value. It's more like Digital gold. Digital gold yeah. Like, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like people are hoarding Bitcoin because they think that the value is going to go up because the value has gone up, right? So now it's a thing where it's like, all right, inflation is at an all-time high. So being that inflation is so high, physical currency actually gets devalued. Bitcoin is supply and demand. So there's only, what, like 18 million yeah. eventually so going to yeah, be? It's called a circulating supply. So only this amount would be in existence. So I think it's like 18.9 million or something. Yeah, yeah. So, so now... Is create scarcity, so which has made the price go up over the course of time. What's happened is that from Bitcoin, there's like thousands of different cryptocurrencies, right? So you have like Ethereum, and they all move on a blockchain. So like there's records of everything. They move a lot quicker. The cryptocurrency space is something that I think is going to just continue to, to go. And now it's being tied in with so many other different things. It's creating a whole ecosystem where it's like, all right, NFTs is being built on blockchains and most of them are being built on Ethereum or Solana, which is another cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. You have to buy NFTs with cryptocurrency. NFTs, I I just don't understand why people want to get like a monkey with a hat on. I just don't (laughs) get that part. All right, NFT is not fungible token, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like... Fungibility is something that you can be, you can duplicate. It's not unique. So, like a dollar bill is fungible. But if it's a dollar and it's signed by Muhammad Ali, mm-hmm. I rip it up and he gives you a dollar. And that's not a difference. Same, yeah. It's not the same, right? So now it's like if you take a picture of that and you put it on the blockchain, right? And now you own that, but it's in a digital, on a digital wallet. So now you can verify like this is 100% authentic. This is something that is unique. And now what they're doing is like, all right, you talk about the art, right? Where it's like, you see these bored apes selling for like $400,000. Mm-hmm. So it's like, all right. The number one question is like, all right, if I buy a bored ape outside of putting it on my avatar on Instagram, where am I going to show this? Samsung just announced they're coming out with the NFT TV. So now you're going to actually be able to display, buy NFTs. So now it's like, it's no difference when you go to somebody's house and they got a wall hall or they got, you know, a, a dope painting that costs so much money. But then there's other uses of it. Like Nas, shout out to him. He just did something that was really dope where he he has an NFT, but the owners of the NFT get royalty rights to two of his songs. Mm. And like Meek Mill's putting out a mixtape wow. and it's going to be an NFT, but you got to have Ethereum to buy it. Yep. Counterfeit shoes is huge, right? Like, so now Nike's saying that they're going to put they're going to attach NFTs to every single shoe so now you can verify Definitely. that your shoe is 100% authentic. Mm-hmm. It's not a knockoff. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, and y'all, people who have social equity, right? Like, so y'all would be a prime example, right? You can attach an experience to it. It's funny. I was going to say, how can we make this experience for this wall or something just to make it break it down a little more like an NFT? Right, so like, imagine like you took the picture of this, this, okay. this space right here, and people got to bid on it, or this was an art piece, right? And people got to bid, but the experience was you get to be on all the smoke, uh, once a year. Well, let's do it for just one year. We get to be on the smoke for all the smoke for a year. Uh, we get to teach you how to do an actual podcast, right? You get to come to a live tapings. But imagine if you had like the guest was LeBron, mm-hmm. and now that was what a they were bidding on. Yeah. How much you think that ticket's going to be? Mm-hmm. Right. Really? And here's the thing: like, if somebody bought it at this price, and you put an expiration date, like this is the day of the taping, all the way up to that date, like maybe a week before, you could keep it there. But like somebody buys it, right, and they decide, you know what, I'm gonna sell it. 
you get a commission on it because you put a commission on right. the actual price. So like if it's a 10 percent, every time that experience gets sold, like you getting paid. So like with the sports, the opportunities is limitless with sports. Like what you guys could be doing with the NFTs, and don't think about it like it's just a picture of something. I think the the, the real value is like attaching it mm -hmm. to something physical, experience, whether yeah. it's in a show, experience, something like that. And you'd be surprised how much people will pay. I'm giving out too many ideas. I love it. Still, like I said, we coming to stay with y'all for a whole week <laughs> during the summer. 